What's up everybody? Russ with RWG Research here. Today I want to show you something very interesting, okay? My grandma, she's about 89, 88, something like that. She's really old. Um, <clears throat> she asked me to fix something for her. I said, okay, let me see what you got. And this is what she brought me. No, not the high chair. This. All right, so what the world is this? Check it out. This is a adding, subtracting machine. It's basically what they used to use to do their entries on paper. Give you a quick look around this whole thing. It's pretty heavy. It's 100% mechanical. No electrical power whatsoever. I have no idea what such a device is even worth. Let's look at the bottom. <clears throat> Just a big chunk of aluminum it looks. It's got a model number on it if you'd like to look it up. I haven't looked it up yet. Oh, okay. So, this thing's pretty sweet. Uh, let's just try this. One, 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 one. All right, and it put all ones up on my paper. So if I add twos and then hit total, Check it out. It basically just added all those numbers together. So, um, 500, and then I'm going to hit the minus and ring it once. Yeah, see, it didn't do anything, but it added some numbers. Oh well, I have no idea. And you can do subtotal. Okay, and it gives you the subtotal number. Total clears it out. Anyway, this thing is freaking awesome. Obviously, the minus has some issues, but whatever. Let's uh, let's do a little autopsy. Find out what's in this thing. So first, the tape here for the reel is actually red and black. That's how you get it. Your two uh, your two colors. And when these come up, these just raise to a certain height. Each one of these has a number. And this is your uh, your hammer that actually stamps your number. So if I were to do eh, good enough, you see this pattern I've got on here? That should match up with the height of these pins. See? So very interesting. So let's uh let's see if I can easily pop this thing, just pop the top off this thing and look and see what's inside because I think it would be fascinating. It's got to be a crap ton of stuff because it weighs, a, it's a freaking brick. It weighs probably 25 pounds, and eh, maybe 20, 20 pounds at least. Okay, let's take it apart. These little screws. Maybe. Okay. I'm gonna have to take this reel off. Ooh. I gotta unscrew the top. Check that out. This ribbon has been in there for so long, and yet it's still got enough ink in it to work. I better 
leave that on there. But I'm gonna have to take it off. Okay. Left, right. Don't know if they're different or the same, but take our paper off. This looks like it just spring loaded. Well, that's cool. And then this just helps the paper roll to stay tight. Obviously this one's almost empty. Now I think if I take this one screw off back here, I think if I take this off, I think this whole thing will come off. But I couldn't get this to come off. That's why I didn't take it apart all the way last time, but I'm really curious to show you guys what's in this thing. There's a lever and a button and a knob. I'm afraid I'm going to break it. I would think that this would come apart. fairly easy so that if you had to work on it you could get in there. Oh, I might be able to take I would think that that nod there we go. I was going to say it looks like that was in there to hold it in place so that it would slide off. Haha, <laughs> got it. So this whole attachment just slides onto the top. That's pretty fancy. Look, we already got a whole bunch of little knobs and switches and springs. Alright, you guys ready to see what's inside this thing? I don't know why I am. I don't know how to get this off. This, uh, oh, there we go. Ha! <laughs> oh, that stays back on. Oh, yeah, look, there's a, uh, there's a groove inside there. I know it's hard to see from the light, but there's a groove inside of there. And that groove just has a, uh, a little ball. It just snaps on there. Just like a uh, conventional, it's got a ball and a spring on the shaft, like a conventional socket or something. Okay, let's see what we got in here. Holy moly. Alrighty. <laughs> okay, well, if there's one thing I know right now, it's if... I was a technician for one of these. Uh, I think you could tinker with this for days, days, and days. Holy moly. Looks like I can take off four more screws and take this whole bottom off, so let's do that. I might oil this thing up anyway while I've got it apart. I hope I'm not taking off any of the wrong screws. This should come off. Yeah. I'll take this side off. Holy moly. This thing is awesome. attached. I gotta take I gotta take this off. This looks like a all this is is a spring return. Let's try it. 
Yep. There's nothing else hooked to this thing right here except for that arm. So, without it, I'll have to manually trigger it, but that's okay. Let's pop it off. These are some interesting looking C, C rings. They're, ooh, I just bent that one. They're solid. I'll, uh, I imagine I'll have to bend that back. Nope, oh, this is not the spring return. This has like a, it's like a fluid pump. Oh, I guess I, I guess I could have kept that attached. Looks like there's a screw in the back. Well. There's one of these clamps. I need to clamp it back on there with some tweezers. Uh oh. This could be bad. I might have this thing broke by the time it's over. Alrighty, so let's. Oh, I guess the screw's on the bottom. That's what it is. Okay, now we got it. Oh, I'm gonna have to set this on something. My my combined oil with the oil that's in it is uh, it's oily. That's good. So I'm gonna set this thing on the side so we can we can see it and so we can use it. So, if you guys, if anybody's ever taken apart a old regular handheld camcorder that had videotapes in it, it's like this except smaller. This is pretty complicated, but I've seen uh, many more devices much more complicated than even this. But this is awesome. So let's let's take an overview here. I'm gonna take the camera off here. I don't have a quick disconnect, so you're gonna have to deal with it. I got my pizza over here, mmm, waiting for me to eat. But I figured I'd take this apart first. So look at all these mechanics going on in this thing. Let's see, I think I can turn on this light. See if it'll let me. Well, there we go. Nice. I haven't ever used the light on this. This will be good for now. That is awesome. It's got the model number probably stamped on it. Look at all these springs and latches and clips and Yada yada yada. Look at all this. Look at all this stuff going on in there. Look at it. Lots of stuff. Very uh very interesting amount of things happening right now. I oiled I oiled up these thing of my jobbers and I just oiled a bunch of that stuff. I think that would be alright. Alrighty, I'm not going to pull all those knobs off and look under that. I think we'll be just fine peeking in the back. I think you get the idea. It's a pretty amazing piece of mechanical work. Um, I don't know the date on this thing. Might have to look it up. So let's activate this thing a few times and see what it looks like. Oh, I'm going to 
get my napkin caught up in it. Maybe we can stand it up. I'll stand it up this way. Alrighty. So, it's going to be hard to do all at once. Let's see if we can, if we can just uh, set the camera down. Oh, that's awesome. Obviously, I uh, I need to put that hook back on there. Um, yeah, so this is really kind of just hard to even see what's going on. But uh, let me push let me push this button here. It latches. Let me push the two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the one unlatches the other. Let's just do a one, and somehow that mechanically triggers which number I'm supposed to hit over here. I guess I really honestly have no idea. There's so much going on, it would take quite some time to actually find out um, which part of this thing is doing what part of what. left it on there. So right now I got some numbers hit. I clear them all. So that's what the clear does. Alright, let's just uh let's do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright, and I'll pull this real slow and maybe maybe we can see. Let me put this thing back on the tripod and see if we can kind of sort of see what's going on uh, I don't like I said I don't know the date of this thing but it's pretty awesome alright I'm going to zoom in for you and see if we can see what's happening So, right there, all the latches are made. This has a hook on it so it doesn't ever return until it's all the way down. And then, boop, there it punched. So, very interesting. I'm not going to try to go into the all the nitpick details, but uh, I think uh, I think you get the idea. That's a pretty awesome piece of machinery right there alright well I just thought I'd show you this thing so there it is now I'm gonna put it back together alright guys I was looking at this a little closer <clears throat> it looks like when you push a button right now I've got a roll like this when you push a button there's a pin in there that sticks out. When you pull this handle, it pulls all these up to the very top. It tries to get to nine. But if there's a pin in the way, it just stops. And that's all the further it moves. So if you watch this, you'll see those little things drop, and then each one will stop. First one, there's the second one, there's the third one, fourth one, and sixth one, that's one through seven. And that's all the feather that it lifts these up here. So they're still set. So it's all, this is probably all spring loaded. And when you pull this lever, they only spring up to the point where they stop. And actually, I think they are spring loaded because when I oiled them, that's what that they were sticking because they, they were only spring loaded. So, very interesting. 
I'm not quite sure how the numbers here in the adding and all that stuff really works out. That's kind of fascinating on my own, on, on its own right. Anyway. That's freaking crazy. I'll do it again so you can see the bottom, because you couldn't see the bottom. Now if I clear it and I do it, Nine eight seven six five four three. It's the opposite. Anyway, fascinating old piece of machinery. And this thing is just a fluid. I can hear the fluid moving. That needs to be tightened up. I'm not quite sure if that just gives you that nice feeling of smoothness. That whole thing just does that. <laughs> All right, let's put it together. All right, well, I got this thing partially put back together, and I, I kind of wanted to show you how the how the number stamps actually work. These are actually just spring-loaded. <sighs> All right, so if I did... Two, three, four, five. So if I just went down a row at an angle, as these come up, they stop at their points. And then the point that's the lowest, or the number that's at that point, when the hammer hits it. So right now you've got all the correct numbers out. Very interesting. There's a little latch here for something on the top part that goes on here. Anyway, and somewhere in here there's a weight that, or I guess these are spring tension and then they release, catch, catch and release. I don't quite know where. Fascinating. Anyway, the interesting thing about this is that, yeah, you know, <clears throat> it was made, somebody made it. That's fine. We make stuff all the time. But the thing is, is that this was made in a day and age where there were no computers to draw it up on. Every, every piece in this whole entire apparatus was designed, engineered, and built one at a time. One piece at a time. And if you look really closely at all this stuff, it's actually stamped. It's stamped and pressed. So they had to make a die for each one of these to stamp these things out. That's impressive. I don't care who you are. That is an impressive piece of machinery. All just to add numbers and stamp them on a piece of paper. Pretty cool.
Maybe I wasn't recording. I recorded a whole session and it didn't record, so let's do it again. Alright, so I fixed it. Um, 111. 111. I add 111, I get 222. Now I can lock on these numbers, so we'll just. 333-444-555-666-777-888-999. So let's see if we can just add one and get a thousand. Yep, one thousand. Now, if we do subtract, let's subtract um, one hundred. So that's one zero zero basically. Yep, nine hundred. So let's do another eight hundred. Let's subtract. 400. Yep, 400. Now if I do subtotal, it's going to give me 400 because that's the number on my ticket or my my bar there. Let's add 500. All right, now let's subtract 100. Now let's do a another subtotal. All right, which is 800. Um, yeah. So let's subtract. 100, subtract 200, subtract 300, 400, 500, 600. Now we're down at 100. So let's uh, see if we can subtract 1. Oh, I added 1. 101. Let's subtract 10. Yep, 91. Let's subtract 9. Oh, clear. Subtract 9. We got 82. So let's subtract the. Uh, uh, let's see. 70? 75. Well, let's do subtotal. Alright, so let's subtract 75 and see if we get zero. Zero, zero, zero. There you go. That is a cool machine. I like it. All right, well, this has been Russ. RWG Research is my website. God bless you guys. Have a good day. Grandma will be proud, and uh, she can do her bills now. No, I'm not kidding. She really wants it back to do her bills. All right, peace out, guys. Laters.